back to this concept of seeing the familiar in new ways, right? Does anyone know who Baynard Reston is? Yes, who's Baynard Reston? Um, Right, so he was an African-American LGBT organizer who organized the March on Washington. Where did the March on Washington take place? In the National Park. In the National Park in the outdoors, right? So how do we look at the familiar in new ways? Um, on Harriet Tubman Day, we did a hike uh, in Sydney Park, and we said, how, is, how, is, how can we honor Harriet Tubman's relationship with nature? Who was Harriet Tubman? Was she a hiker? Yes, obviously. Right? She, many of her trails and paths are still unknown today. She hiked in all over the mountains. Was she a botanist? Yes. She used plants to, to heal soldiers during the Civil War. Was she an astronomer? Yes. She used the constellation to get to place, use the North Star, you know, the places to get where she needed to, get to where she needed to go. Um, and she used landmarks, like the Niagara Falls, for example, was an indicator that slaves were, were um, at the path of a freak, were finally out of the South, right? So how do we look at people we're very familiar with, like Bob Marley, like I said earlier, and think about them in new ways? And I think that that's a really important piece to add to your trips because that's a, that's a conversation piece. That when I start trips, I usually put out that question. Can you, make, can you think on your way, can you think of a song by a black artist and by a park rangers? And then in the midpoint of the hike, I say, okay, can anyone come up with that? I've also said, you know, today's Mary J. Blige's birthday. Can you think of some songs by Mary J. Blige? Some lyrics by Mary J. Blige. And that creates community on the hike, too, because people are singing those songs and singing those lyrics, right? So how do we take what's already familiar to us and make that as part of it, instead of saying, I don't know where these people are? But there is a really great book out there. In fact, I think it's on the bot shelf if I returned it because I borrowed it. <laughs> <laughs> but and you can Kyle, you can probably speak to this one, too. Uh, black and brown faces in outdoor spaces, in or North America's wild places. Yeah, and it um, it really wonderfully um, shows a very diverse collection of, I think, all African American um, and African people who are currently working within outdoor spaces. So Chelsea Griffith, who used to be the program director here, is featured in it, as well as um, some wonderful people um, out of the south who are doing, uh, who work for the Parks Service. Um, so, if you're interested in learning more about that, that's a wonderful book to check out.